Hello, welcome to Paul's Take, and this is my take on what is going on in the world today. So we got the election, is over, it's behind us, we're done with it. But you still can't seem to get away from Trump everywhere. They're still reporting on Trump. Wherever you turn around, there's Trump. I had enough of Trump. I like Trump, don't get me wrong, but can't you like focus on something else? Let's focus on the world. Let's focus on how Biden's doing. Let's focus on different things. They still got the, the same issues going on as before. Nothing has changed except uh, except that the, I guess the thing that the thing is, is, is the fact that it hasn't changed. Everything is still up in the air. I feel like there's some tension in the world. Like you're still focused on Trump because maybe they think Trump is still trying to win. But it's done with. It's crazy. The other part that's really weird is have you noticed that uh, it's impossible to buy ammo? Ammo was sold out everywhere. You can't get nada. Everybody bought it up and they're just not producing enough to replenish their lost inventory. And not only that, but now they got, uh, we have that uh, scandal with Game, uh, Game Hub? Game Stop? Game, I don't know. That game store that they ran up. I guess they were shorting it. People were, the, the people in the industry were shorted. So then all the people, I guess all the, the these online groups found out about it and started buying the stock and now it's worth a ton of it's like worth like i don't know i think it went up like a hundred percent or something not a hundred percent like a thousand percent something crazy it's way up there now it was worth nothing and now it's worth a lot so so that's that's weird so it's almost like so they're, they're saying i think what they're doing is they're proving they're showing you that everything is vulnerable like the uh the whole Stock market is, is, is so it's, it can be manipulated and it's not legit or something. It's not fair or not secure as we all thought it was. It's giving you some, some worry about, huh, all my retirement money is in the stock market. What if the stock market just like falls apart? What if they realize the whole thing is gets manipulated? It doesn't really matter what the real true value of the company is or not. It's like a popularity contest or something. I don't know. And now you can't get silver. What? First you can't get ammo. Now they stop trading on that whatever stock that was, I forgot. GameStop, Game, whoever. And now you can't buy silver. Now, lucky for me, way back when, I can't really remember when the uh, last crisis came up where it got me wondering, maybe I should start buying silver. Not for an investment per se. Actually, not per se at all. I don't, do, I don't buy silver for an investment. I, build, I buy silver for insurance just in case the monetary system crashes and we're like, we're like uh, trying to like, we need some kind of way to buy stuff. There's always going to be value in silver because silver is actually a uh, precious metal. It's, it's a limited supply, you know. So paper money, it's just paper. It's only backed by the government. The, the government falls apart. Then there's really no value in that dollar. It might go to the yen or something. Who knows? down the road so so it makes me kind of worried for the fact that we didn't go back to normal after the election we still didn't go back to normal still wearing masks and even though um, now they're saying oh I forgot what it's called oh yeah I would pause it but I don't want to that uh, there's a drug that Trump was pushing for a long time he was pushing and pushing and said it works Oh man, so tip my tongue. I forgot what it's called. And then uh, the uh, the the doctors, American doctors or something, they were pushing it. So I guess a bunch of doctors were pushing this particular medicine. They say it was safe. It's been using it long for malaria in, in Africa for for decades, and uh, it's, it's probably safe. They can buy it over the counter in most countries. And then here they were saying it was dangerous. You can't take it. It doesn't work. It's dangerous. And now. Now, like three days after the election, they're saying, oh, you know what? It turns out that that malaria drug is actually safe. And it works, too. So you should take it if you get COVID. Hmm. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Is it a coincidence that uh, initially when uh, COVID came out, they're saying, oh, you don't need a mask. And then they're saying, because then they later said, well, we actually, the, the mask works for other people, but not for you. 
Uh, but then now they're saying, it works for everybody. Wear a mask. What's up with that? They, they're flip-flopping. Is it because they learned new information? I didn't think so. When it first came out, when COVID first came out, and I'm just, I'm just a bus driver. When COVID first came out, I said, and they said, the mask don't work, I said, that's BS. Who am I? I'm not a doctor. But obviously, it's going to help. It might not be 100%. It might not be 80%. Maybe it's 20% chance better. But it's going to help some degree, obviously. Not to mention that the doctors and nurses, they're wearing masks. So if it works for them, they get the whole on body suits. The mask got to help out. So wear a mask. But of course, the reason was limited supply. There was limited supply of the mask. They need it for the nurses. But they didn't tell us that. They said it didn't work. They were lying. So now those masks are available for everybody. Now they're saying they work, of course. So how can you trust? How can you trust anybody anymore? There's so many conspiracies. It's ridiculous. I got, uh, I got uh, some people around me. They're all always talking about conspiracies. And, oh, wait. Wait tomorrow. Wait next week. They're going to release this. Oh, wait. They're going to release that. Oh, so-and-so is going to get in trouble. Watch out. So-and-so is going to get arrested. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. Most stuff just don't happen, though. So, where's, uh, where's all the, the action? So, I don't know. I don't trust the conspiracy people. I don't trust the unconspiracy people. I definitely don't trust the government. I don't trust the CDC. I don't trust anybody. That's just me. I'm not very trusting. I trust my common sense, though. And it seemed like my common sense has done me well so far. Uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't trust anybody. You do what you want. I don't want to be saying, Paul said you shouldn't trust anybody, so I didn't, and I got malaria. No, I'm not saying to listen to me. Use your own common sense. Don't use my common sense. My common sense is mine. I got it. It's mine. I got a copyright on it. You can't use it. Um, but yeah, use your own common sense. And uh, I, You know what bothers me more than... There's people that are like me. I'm, I'm on the conspiracy side. Uh, you know, there's... There's people that are completely unconspiracy. There's people that's totally paranoid about every single thing in the world, and I'm probably leaning more towards the paranoid. But I, I'm, uh, but I haven't, of course, I haven't. I don't believe in all that stuff. There's a lot of things. I guess it was this one Congress. I think it was a Congresswoman that's getting a lot of grief right now because she said she don't. Be, she believes the world is flat and that the, the sky is not real. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. That. I can't say dude down. I can't say do that. I can't say woman. I can't say man. I can't say anything. That's what the new the world, new world now. You can't say person because there's the word son in there. Hmm. You just gotta say, uh. I was talking to, uh, and then this is what they said. So anyhow, what was I talking about? So I'm not I'm not that crazy. I'm not crazy. I don't think, but I question things, and I think it's healthy to question things. But of course. If you don't, like, I feel like the government now is almost like a cult. At least the Democrat Party. Oh, it's like a cult because they don't want you to question anything. When was that? When was that the United States way of not questioning everything? You're supposed to question everything. It's like, you know, if you go to a cult, they're like, if you go, even some religions, they're not even, put, they're not categorized as cults. But some religions, they don't want you to question. Don't question anything. Don't question the whatever they're worshiping. Don't question us. Don't question the, the head poncho, whoever the, the leader of the church is or religion. Don't question them or else you'll burn in hell forever. But I'm not like that. I I said I was raised religion and I still question. I was supposed to, but in my mind I couldn't help it. I was like, hmm, well, that might that, this could be that or something else. I don't know. So uh Anyhow, so I, I, I think it's the American way to question your, your government officials. Mostly gov- you question them, you question, you question their teachers, you question everybody. You don't be rude about it, but just, you know, keep an open mind. So my thing is, I don't mind people questioning things. I think it's the healthy way, thing to do. What shocks me is people that don't question anything. They just like, they're like, they just believe whatever they're told. That, the news said, the news said this, it's got to be true, you're crazy. Yeah, but if you turn a channel, that news is telling you something different. So so how do you know which one's right? If you're like the CNN news junkie and you're like following everything they say, well, it might be a little different than MSNBC or definitely different than Fox News or now they have a 
Newsmax. So who, who, who's going to be your, your rabbi in a news world? That's, and you, and you get so basically, if you just listen to one station, and it's fine, most people do. I, I like to watch Fox because I think it's a more, a more upbeat. And uh, it seems like it makes more sense. But I don't believe everything they say. I questioned them too. I questioned, I was trying to figure, what's the angle? If they're pushing this, and what, 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 who's going to benefit from that, that new policy or new thought or whatever? Somebody's benefiting, or else they wouldn't even talk about it. So, who is it? I don't know. But anyways, so my problem is the people that don't question anything. They just believe whatever they're told in church. And if it's funny, because you go to one church, they'll, they'll interpret the Bible one way. You go to another church, they'll interpret the Bible the other way. And then it's like the good guys are, are Christians and the bad guys are Christians. They're all the good, you know, there's people that are saying, I don't know, get to all that stuff, but... So, question everything. It's natural. It's not un-American to question your officials. It's American. Question it all. Don't be a, you know, uh, don't be a sheep. Be a shepherd. Be a shepherd. And what else? There was something else I was going to talk to you about. Let's see here. Aliens? Aliens. What? Max file. Hmm. Interesting. Aliens? So Trump apparently released a bunch of information on aliens. But apparently there was so much information, it's too much to read. And I guess the information is not blatantly obvious in here. Uh, so I'm curious what that's going to turn out on that part of it. I think ultimately, I don't ultimately I like to know if the government's or having some kind of deal with, with aliens. Because I believe aliens exist. How could you not believe it? Now, it's one thing to believe that aliens exist. It's another thing to think to believe that they actually came to Earth and they're mingling among us. That's a whole different thing. Which is possible or not possible. I don't know. I'm, uh, you, know you never know on that. So, what I, I would lean towards the aliens have come here. And I would even lean towards they had made contact with government officials. But I don't know that for sure. I heard stories. I don't know. I don't know anything, but there's definitely aliens out in the, in the universe because the universe is super huge. And we're here. So if we're here, there must be some other people or other things that are living organisms and societies out in the universe. It just doesn't make any sense. It makes less sense that we're the only ones for some reason. This is the only planet, this only small planet that got it, all the chemistry right. And no other planet in the whole universe, even though the whole universe is made out of the same stuff. They're all made out of exploding stars. But for some reason, there's only ours out of all the mindless billions and trillions of planets and stars that you can't even fathom in your mind how vast the universe is, that we would be the only ones that got it right. No, there's going to be people, there's, there's, let's say people, there, there probably is people. But there's different living things all over the universe. I guarantee it. I don't know, but it, how could it not be? It seems impossible. Every inch of this planet has got living things on it. You no know, matter what the atmosphere, no matter what's hot or cold or underwater, above the water, near lava, there's living stuff everywhere. It's got to be out there. All right. So... Here's what I want you to do. I want us to start something. We can start it right here. You and me, we'll just like, I'll be the first and you can be the second. We're gonna denounce, this, this video is all over the place, but we're gonna denounce violence. This is the other thing that kind of bothers me among things that bother me is the whole violence aspect of the world. Now, I understand that among a population as vast as, you know, the United States or anywhere, and in the world, there's, gonna, there's, there's a bunch of people in the world, millions and billions of people in the world. There's always, there's always going to be a few knuckleheads, no matter what. I mean, I don't know what the number, the percentage is of good versus bad, how many bad apples are going to be, you know, sprinkled on in a, in a general population. But there, there's, without a doubt, going to be some, some people that are going to be violent or mentally deranged you can't 
you know, you could try to weed out some of them or most of them, but still, there are always going to be some that just turn crazy or who knows what. So, the Democratic Party, Republican Party, Independent Party, the Libertarian Party, the, they're always going to be a few cuckoos in the roost, right? It's, it's, it's without a doubt. You can't blame the whole party. This goes for any party. You can't blame the whole party on a few knuckle-crazy people that are violent. I'm talking about the violent ones. I'm not talking about the ones that are just screaming at the camera, going crazy, crying, and all that stuff. The emotionally unstable people. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the violent people. So in a group, in a crowd, in a, any kind of population, there's going to be crazy, uncontrollable people that can't control their anger. They're full of anger. I don't know what's wrong with them, but they're, they resort to violence. What the, you know, I, I understand there's going to be some of those. You know, you can't help it. It's, not, it's just the way the, the universe works, the way the, the nature. It's, there's going to be some bad apples. I don't know what made them bad or whatever. I'm not even trying to get into it. What bothers me is not the bad people, you know, they're, they're, because they're probably mentally something wrong inside the head. You know, if you've got some brain problem, can you, can you really blame the person if they're mentally cuckoo? Can you blame a little kid for crying or, or getting mad, having a tantrum? No, because they're, they're, they don't have the capacity yet. They grow up, they mature. But some people don't mature, they don't have the capacity. I don't know what's wrong with them. I'm not a psychological person, psychologist or whatever. What I do, uh, what, I, what bothers me is the other general population around the crazy people. Like you see these, you see like these uh, protests or large group of people and they do, somebody will, will start beating somebody up. You know, you got, you got one violent person that just beats up somebody. They might be, they might run in a little pack, so a pack of violent people will start attacking and it seems like they attack the most fragile, weak person. They don't attack the big person in the crowd. They attack the easy people, the, the, the weak and soft and screw, you know, the sweet people. They can weed them out. They know who's not into violence and they're probably just trying to maybe speak their mind or they might say something stupid. They might say something stupid and lame. But maybe they're not violent, violent by nature, but then the violent person, oh, you said something stupid. Now I gotta kick your butt. Well, yeah, you know, people. Sticks and stones, man. You know what I'm talking about? But some people can't handle verbal craziness. So, yeah, you got one crazy person that says mad stuff. And then you got one person that's crazy that just likes to beat up people that are mentally crazy that say crazy stuff, right? So you got two crazy people. You can't help, you know, there's, there's going to be that. What bothers me is the other general population around this group of crazies. They have just allow the violent person to just beat the bejesus out of somebody else. Like you said, usually a weaker person. Is, oh, but it could be crazy. Hey, they could be wrong. But they're maybe not violent by nature. Or maybe they're just, they're, well, either way, I don't care. Well, I used to work security. I didn't care who was right and wrong. I just broke it up. You know what I'm saying? I, I broke it up and let them just like cry about it later. I don't even care. Just don't fight on my property. Don't fight around me because I'm just going to stop it. No matter who's right or wrong, I'm not going to let somebody beat somebody up just because I, I was justified because he took my parking space. He scratched my car. He said that I was ugly. He said my girlfriend was pretty or something. I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't care who was right or wrong. I just stopped it. And I think as a civilization, as a society, as the United States and as a world in whole, when people start getting violent, so the, the crazy few, I think the majority of good should break it up. Don't be, don't try to like judge who's right or wrong. Just break it up. Just break it up. Separate the people. I'm not saying you got to break it up and call the police and have them arrested. If you want to, hey, feel free. But I'm not saying that. I'm just saying people as a whole should stop the violence. The good people with common sense should grow a pair and go stop people that are just mentally deranged and are hurting other people. It's like, it almost feels like they think they're, they're, it's okay to do it because nobody stops them. And I, it, it bothers me that nobody does. Stop them people. There's good people out there. You're good. I'm good. Let's stop the violence. Like I said, don't take sides. Do whatever side is doing it. Your side, their side, whoever's getting violent. Just stop the violence. Put an end to it. All right, I think that's enough for me. If you made it this far, congratulations, you're probably the only one. 
Thanks for watching Paul's Take. Please hit like and subscribe to watch more of my crazy videos. They're crazy, they're great. I'll kick your butt. No, I won't. I'm not a violent person, but I will stop violence. I will do it. I will stop violence around me because I'm a good person. And that's what good people do. So thanks for watching Paul's Take and hit subscribe for more of my videos.